Okay, so obviously we're going to start with uh, statements and reasons. You should write them out. I guess I will do the same. Okay, we want to uh, look at our, our um, figure and we want to mark the things that are given and we're going to mark that in red. The stuff that is given is that SP is congruent to TP, so we're going to mark that on our figure should always be marking your figures. I'll be looking for that. That's what I include as part of your figure. All right, then it says PQ bisects SPT. Um, that isn't, it is given, and the only way to mark that is that they're congruent, but the fact that they're congruent is not given. It follows from bisection. So we're going to do that in a different color because it's not really given. So I'll put that in green. Okay, that means that uh, SPQ, since PQ bisects SPT, SPQ is congruent to QPT. That's not actually given, but it is something that we can say from this. Then it says to prove SPQ is congruent to TPQ. So when we look at our figure, let's work it out. Okay, we have um, these to choose from. Let me change my color. We could, we could choose side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, hypotenuse, leg, and angle, angle, side. Well, hypotenuse, leg is out because there are no right angles here. We have an angle and a side, so we could be looking at either side, angle, side, or angle, side, angle, because we have one set of angles that are congruent and one set of sides. When we look at this, for it to be uh, angle side angle, these angles would have to be congruent. They are, but there's no way we can prove they are, so we can't use that. Okay, the other thing we could do is um, angle, angle side. So we could have angle, angle side. We'd have to be able to prove that those two angles are congruent. We can't do that either, so we can't use that one either. And I'll just erase those things that we can't use. I'm trying to show you how to work it out in your mind. And so then you say, well, what's left for us to use? Well, it uh, could be side, angle, side. That would mean that we would need to be able to prove that PQ is congruent to PQ, which is easy for us to do. So we're going to start out with our, with our statements. We have the given PQ bisects. S, P, T, that's given. Now from that we know that S, P, Q is congruent. Angle S, P, Q is congruent to angle Q, P, T. That's not given. That is the definition of bisection. You can only say something's given if it says it in so many words. That's bisection, definition of bisection. All right, then we have also given is SP is congruent to TP, and that is given, and we marked it. And then we know that PQ is congruent to PQ by the reflexive. So now we know that triangle SPQ is congruent triangle TPQ by side, angle, side. Here's a side, here's a side, and here's the angle between them.